Hello. Okay, so yeah, I'm filming this in my bathroom. It's a little weird, but I need to be close enough that I can hear my daughter crying, but far enough away that she doesn't hear me filming this video. Um, so today I'm trying to make this video in one take because I actually already filmed this, but then uh, my laptop won't turn on, so I can't edit it. And my desktop computer, the monitor is broken, so that also makes it hard to edit on that computer too. So I'm trying to film this all in one take so that I can just upload it straight to YouTube. So hopefully my daughter does not wake up from her nap because then I'll need to redo this all over again. But basically I wanted to give you guys a little update. It's telling me that the camera is like not level, but whatever, anyway. I need to give you a little update. Um, you guys have been asking how I'm doing and um, pretty good actually. Um, since the last time I filmed a long video, my back is so much better. Um, I'm now able to lift my daughter up off the floor. She's walking now, so that helps so much. Um, she started walking a little before Thanksgiving, like right around when she was 11 months old. Um, so she's almost one now. That's really exciting. But anyway, I can hold her now. That's really awesome. I can rock her if I need to. Um, the only thing that I'm still having a little bit of trouble with is changing her diaper, like bending over and doing that kind of thing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I can't, I mean, I don't lift her like a normal person would lift a baby either. I kind of like get her off the ground and get her on a chair and then I lift her all the way up. Anyway, you probably don't care. This is what happens when I film a video all in one take. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I normally edit all this out. But, health update. Um, yeah, so I had to stop the clinical trial that I was on. And it's unfortunate because I do think it was helping a little bit though there's no way to know exactly how much. What happened was, is I had a scan and that scan had a mixed result. So there were some spots on the scan that showed my cancer was better, improved, and there were other like new lesions on the scan. So they can't keep me on the trial because they don't know if this method of treating me is hurting me and making things worse. So obviously they had to take me off the trial. The reason that I think that it helped me and my doctors even agreed that I probably did get some benefit is because my pain has greatly improved. Um, I know it's been a while since my surgery, so that could be a reason why my pain has improved, but I had so much other pain like in my hips and stuff that I didn't even have before the surgery, So and that all went away, so I think that the radium did help with that. I'm just not sure if the Taxol is helping or hurting. Um, the doctor also said that I should still be receiving benefits from the Taxol or the Radium for another two months or so, even though I stopped treatment. Um, one thing that I just want to throw out there into the universe, because I don't know if it'll help somebody someday, um, I, my initial scan before I got treated, so to get on the trial, I had to get a scan um, to be eligible to like send to the people who review it that say, yeah, you can be on the trial. Um, so I had to get a scan. And that scan was actually two weeks before I started treatment. The reason was because I had to get the scan and then they had to send all the paperwork, then they had to approve it. That didn't take super long. That only took like, it was on a Thursday and I found out that I was approved for the trial on a Tuesday. Um, but then they have to order the radium a week in advance. So I got the scan on a Thursday and I didn't start treatment until two Wednesdays after that. So almost two weeks apart. In those two weeks, that, that time frame, I started getting like a ton more pain, more than I had experienced. Like I, I was healing from my surgery, everything was going well. And then all of a sudden I started getting all this new pain while I was just sitting around waiting for treatment to start. It was in my hips, in my ribs, my back. So my theory is that I did have a bunch of new growth in that two week time period. So that would not have been reflected on the scan since the scan was two weeks earlier. So we actually have no idea 
like what the results are because what if I had gotten a scan right before I started treatment and that showed new spots and then maybe this recent scan that I've just gotten actually does show improvement. We would have no way of knowing. But we also have no way of knowing the other way. Like we don't know if it is worse. So obviously that's why I have to get off the trail. But I thought I would just throw that information out there into the universe so that maybe someday when you guys you smart people out there are designing more clinical trials and whatnot, maybe um, you can try to make it so people get their scans as close to starting treatment as possible. And also, I realize I'm talking about a two week time frame here, which again, I will say in other countries is fast. And <laughs> in my experience with the treatment that I have received, it's not super fast. Like, um, I'm very thankful to be here and getting my cancer treatment here because I do know that you know waiting a certain period of time can be the difference in a lot of treatments and, and a lot of things regarding cancer and how well things work for people. Um, I'm very thankful for the fast medical care that I have received. Um, okay, so since the trial didn't work, what am I doing now? I have just started a new pill, an oral chemo pill, Z Zlota, Z Zlota, I think that's the right one. I always get mixed up because there's so many things that start with Z or X and they all like sound the same, like especially, I've even received them, like I get Exgiva shots, I've had Zometa shots, no infusions before, and Zolodex shots, and now I'm starting Zlota. I think that's right. So. That's the pill that I'm getting now. It's an oral pill. I just take it at home. I don't have to go into an infusion center and get it infused. Um, but it is chemo. It's oral chemo. Um, I will take that seven days on, seven days off, seven days on, seven days off um, for as long as it works. So my doctor basically said that it doesn't always work a super long period of time. Um, but a lot of times it can work for like a year, year and a half. Like he said, if it worked for a year and a half, that would be considered really good. And then after that time period, if it stops working, just um, go on to another form of therapy, which there are lots of options still. And so I don't want you guys to think that this is like the last resort because it isn't. Uh, the reason I'm doing this oral pill is because um, I tolerated hormone therapy and targeted therapy so badly last time. I don't want to start with that. I want to start with this because this is supposed to, I'm pointing because my pills are right up there. Um, this is supposed to be tolerated like so much better. And so if I can live like an easy, normal life while taking this and having few side effects, I would like to do that for as long as possible. So we'll see how this goes. And I'll probably get another scan in two or three months to see if there is any sort of improvement and then reevaluate then um, what to do. But so far I have been taking this, how many days has it been? Let me just check my calendar real quick for you here. One, two, three, four days I've been taking this medicine and so far it's fine. It causes some diarrhea, but I was having that with Taxol and yeah, apparently another side effect is you're supposed to get like um, red palms of your hands and feet, but I haven't had that yet. And they said that that might happen toward the end of the week. And I haven't even, I've only been taking it for four days, so I don't know yet. <sighs> Sorry, I can't sit like this for super long. Okay, um, what else? Oh, yeah, so since I'm not on the trial anymore, I'm switching back to my original hospital with my original doctors, which is really awesome to me. I really think that the care team that um, you have makes a big difference in treatment. I really liked that old hospital so much better. There were just so many things about it. This new hospital that I was at had the clinical trial, which is why I had to go to it. And it's a very, very good hospital. Like I don't want to say super bad things about it or the people there. Um, if you need something, you you can go to this hospital and you can get it. But you know, it wasn't just, it just wasn't the best experience for me. And I'm trying to be really careful because I am doing this in one take. So I don't want to say something that I regret, but the people at my old hospital just, I can, 
I have like a better relationship with. Um, I feel like things move really quickly over at the old hospital and things at this other one were kind of going slow, like the two week period of time that I was talking about. And like, that's not really their fault. That's just how they do things. Um, but at the other hospital, like, I don't know, the nurse is there. I just, I like going there. It feels so much better when you go and um, it's more relaxed. This other hospital was just kind of like, they try to get you in and out, which is fine because I don't like to be in a hospital. I don't like hospitals, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to be there very long. I want to get in and out. But the whole experience was just like, it, it felt like they didn't really care about you as a person as much, which it's so mean to say because it's not even true. Like, especially each individual person, like different people there, some people there were good, some people there were bad. Um, so yeah, and then like another thing about it, which I'm probably gonna get tons of hate for this, but like um, at the new, new hospital that I was at for the trial, they make you wear masks in the infusion center um, just the entire time. And at the old hospital, they didn't do that. And um, I just think that it's so much better when you can see people face to face and see their mouths. You can understand people so much better. When you have like your mouth covered, you can't like have as good of a conversation or relationship with people. I just feel like you're kind of just there. and I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people got treated during the pandemic and people said that about their experience that they, you know, they couldn't bring people with them and, and whatever. That was hard for them. Like I would not have wanted to get treated in the middle of COVID because I always like having my support people with me. But I think it just makes a huge difference when you go to a hospital where you feel really welcomed and that you feel like you're having conversation with people and and all that and I yeah I don't know I think that that will help my mood and yeah overall help me too I'm happy to be back with this old hospital I and the doctors there are so good they like I can tell they care about me and it really really makes a difference when you have good doctors and yeah so I'm really happy to be back there okay what else I don't want to bore you too much mm. Otherwise, we're doing good. I'm getting ready for Christmas around here, getting ready for our daughter's first birthday. Um, it's going to be super fun. We're super busy. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna share at this moment. Um, I might have some more updates later. But yeah, I just wanted to film this quick little update because I know you guys have been asking and there's been a lot of changes. Um, oh, my side effects on the trial or f what you'd expect. Um, I think I talked about them a little bit in the last video, but basically just had like diarrhea. I had a rash. Um, I had fatigue, especially on that third day, that third day of chemo. But I think I talked about all that earlier. Um, I never got super bad neuropathy because I think I only had, I think I only had five treatments of Taxol before I just stop and only two radium treatments. And I was supposed to get six radium treatments in total, one, one every month, and then I was supposed to continue the tax all after that for as long as it worked, but obviously I had to stop the trial. So, yeah, I think that's all. Sorry this was all over the place. Um, hopefully I can get one of my computers fixed, but for now, um, here's this thrown together video that I filmed in one take, and Thanks so much for watching. If you uh, liked this video and you want to follow along more, then subscribe if you want to. And yeah, that's all. Bye.